everybody, it's Miss Karen from the Hancock Town Library. Hi, Wilbur. Hi. Hey, Wilbur, you know, I've noticed there's a lot of mud outside because the weather's getting warmer and then sometimes it gets cold again, but have you noticed a lot of mud? Yeah, I don't like mud. You don't like mud? Well, I have a friend from the farm who happens to love mud. Oh, I know who you mean. Yep, I'm gonna introduce him right now, okay? All right, I think I hear him. I love mud. I love mud, rolling in the mud. You like rolling in the mud, Piggy? Yep, I love mud. Well, you're in luck because I think we're gonna have a lot more mud. Yep, love mud. Okay, well, I have a story about a pig. I think you know this story. Yes, I do. All right, can you sit here with Wilbur? Yep. Okay, this story is called My Lucky Day by Kiko Kaza. And it looks like there's a pig hmm, and a fox. Let's see what this is about. One day, a hungry fox was preparing to hunt for his dinner. As he polished his claws, he was startled by a knock at the door. Hey, Rabbit! Someone yelled outside. Are you home? Rabbit, thought the fox. If there were any rabbits in here, I'd have eaten them for breakfast. Ooh, that doesn't sound good. When the fox opened the door, there stood a delicious looking piglet. Oh, no! screamed the piglet. Oh, yes, cried the fox. You've come to the right place. He grabbed the piglet and hauled him inside. This must be my lucky day, the fox shouted. How often does dinner come knocking on the door? The piglet kicked and squealed. Let me go, let me go. Sorry, pal, said the fox. This isn't just any dinner. It's a pig roast, my favorite. Now get into this roasting pan. Oh, no. It was useless to struggle. All right, sighed the piglet. I will, but there is just one thing. What? growled the fox. Well, I am a pig, you know. I'm filthy. Shouldn't you wash me first? Just a thought, Mr. Fox. Hmm, the fox said to himself. He is filthy. So the fox got busy. He collected twigs. He made a fire. He carried in the water. And finally, he gave the piglet a nice bath. You're a terrific scrubber, said the piglet. There, said the fox. You're, now you're the cleanest piggy in the county. You stay still now. All right, sighed the piglet. I will, but, but what, growled the fox. Well, I am a very small piglet, you know. Shouldn't you fatten me up? to get more meat? Just a thought, Mr. Fox. Hmm, the fox said to himself, he is on the small side. So the fox got busy. He picked tomatoes, he made spaghetti, he baked cookies, and finally, he gave the piglet a nice dinner. You're a terrific cook, said the piglet. There, said the fox, now you're the fattest piglet in the county, so get into the oven. All right, sighed the piglet, I will, but what, 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 shouted the fox. Well, I am a hard-working pig, you know. My meat is awfully tough. Shouldn't you massage me first to make a more tender roast? Just a thought, Mr. Fox. Hmm, the fox said to himself, I do prefer tender meat. So the fox got busy. He pushed and he pulled, he squeezed and he pounded the piglet from head to toe. You give a terrific massage, said the piglet. But, the piglet continued, I've been working really hard lately. My back is awfully stiff. Could you push a bit harder, Mr. Fox? A little to the right, please. Yes, yes, now just a little to the left. Mr. Fox, are you there? happened to Mr. Fox. 
but Mr. Fox was no longer listening. He had passed out, exhausted. He couldn't lift a finger, let alone a roasting pan. Poor Mr. Fox, sighed the piglet. He's had a busy day. Then the cleanest, fattest, and softest piggy in the county picked up the rest of his cookies and headed for home. I think Mr. Fox passed out. What a bath! What a dinner! What a massage! cried the piglet. This must be my lucky day. When he got home, the piglet relaxed before a warm fire. Let's see, he wondered, looking at his address book. Who shall I visit next? Hmm. Uh-oh. Who did he visit next? Mr. Bear. I wonder what he's going to do there. He might trick that bear. And that's my lucky day. I have another friend that has something to say. He's, he's dying to say something. Excuse me. Yes? I'm a fox, you see, and I'm tired of all these, these books that make me look like a mean bad guy. I'm really nice. Matter of fact, I'm friends here with Miss, with Piggy and Sheep. Uh, my name is Wilbur. Oh. Well, I, could you have some books sometime that have foxes that are not mean? Well, you know what? I'll... It, it is true. I see your point. There are a lot of books and foxes are being mean in the books. I'll, I'll, I'll be more careful next time to make sure that you're well represented. How's that? Yeah, whatever that means. That would be great. Okay. I have a little song about pigs. Here's my I have four piggies. Here. Okay. And one just fell. <laughs> okay. Four pigs so squeaky clean, cleanest pigs you've ever seen, wanted to go outside and play, oink, oink. One jumped into the mud, landed with a big thud. Now there were three clean squeaky pigs, oink, oink. Three clean and squeaky pigs, cleanest pigs you've ever seen, wanted to go outside and play, oink, oink. One jumped into the mud, landed with a big thud. Then there were two clean squeaky pigs. Oink, oink. Two clean and squeaky. I think, I think it goes like this. Two pigs so squeaky clean, cleanest pigs you've ever seen. Wanted to go outside and play. Oink, oink. One jumped into the mud, landed with a big thud. Then there was one clean squeaky pig. Oink, oink. One pig so squeaky clean, cleanest pig you've ever seen, wanted to go outside and play. Oink, oink. He jumped into the mud, landed with a big thud. Then there were no clean squeaky pigs. Oink, oink. I think they jumped in the mud. I think that's what they did. Well, be careful of that mud out there. It's kind of all over the place. And I hope you enjoyed the story, and I'll see you next time. Bye.